World War I came to an end in 1990 with a conference on peace at Versailles. The conference at Versailles was the biggest conference which was attended by 32 national delegations which covered three-fourths of the population of the world. The victorious powers USA, UK, France, Italy and Japan participated in the conference. The socialist Russia and the defeated powers like Germany, Austria and Turkey were not invited to the conference. As a result, the Germans thought that the treaty was a diktat that was imposed on the people. As a result, they had no respect and responsibility for it. The Treaty of Versailles imposed territorial penalties and military cuts on Germany in order to weaken it. In addition, Germans were asked to return their colonies that they occupied in Africa in 1880s and Europeans like the Alsace and Lorraine which was occupied from France in 1871. With regard to army strength, The army of Germans was asked to reduce from 900,000 to 100,000 during World War 1. In addition, submarines were restricted and naval strength to 6 battleships of less than 10,000 tons and a dozen torpedo boats and destroyers each. Another important outcome of the Treaty of Versailles was the setting up of the League of Nations to prevent future wars. As we have seen earlier, Russia and Germany were not invited, nor were the members of the League, and USA could not become a member. Woodrow Wilson of US was an important member in the formation of the League of Nations, but US could not become a member of the League as the US Congress that is the Parliament of Congress did not accept the sanction of proposal of Woodrow Wilson. This is the reason in 1934 the League had only 58 members in the League. This League was envisaged to help eliminate wars through collective security and settle disputes between countries whether through arbitration or negotiation in addition the league also established several international agencies for conducting welfare activities in the areas of health labor welfare besides international court of justice for settling legal disputes between the nations but the league of nations gradually failed as it failed to prevent countries like germany and italy from violating international agreements and attacks on other countries students after germany got defeated in the first world war the winning allies decided to punish germany for starting the war and also tried to weaken it so that it cannot rise again On the other hand the various clauses of treaty of Versailles imposed on the Germans made them feel slavish this resulted in the rise of Hitler and his Nazi party in Germany the Germans wanted to recover their territories that were lost in the treaty of Versailles and regain the dominance of Germany over central Europe and also bring to an end the restrictions on German armaments As a result, the Germans tried to reindustrialize itself under the Nazis. It also built a huge army and armament industry which could be served only by war. The First World War had worse effects on the people. There were social agitations all over Europe and the workers inclined themselves to ideologies of socialism and communism in 1917 russia witnessed a revolution which led to the establishment of a communist state one of the first things the newly formed government did in russia was to end the country's participation in the war russia began its peace negotiations in 1924 russia however became union of soviet socialist states or the ussr 
As a result, the Western capitalist countries like Britain were afraid that a similar revolution may take place in other countries of Europe. As a result, they initially encouraged Hitler and Nazis to unite to act as buffers against the Soviet socialism of USSR. This, in other words, was the policy of appeasement of Hitler or a method of making peace. In the year 1939, Germany and USSR entered into a non-aggression pact. Hitler became against British and the France alliance, which led to the outbreak of the Second World War. Hitler could establish his sway over most of the Western Europe. In 1942, he decided to attack USSR. During 1942, Japan, which was an ally of Germany, attacked USA. With this, USA and USSR came together to fight against Germany. Students, in this map we can see the German Empire during World War II, confederated and occupied territories. We can also see the Soviet Union and the Allied countries during World War II. Although the Germans experienced many victories, the experience at the Battle of Stalingrad was different. In early 1943, the German forces were defeated in the Battle of Stalingrad, which was fought with USSR. As a result, USSR and its allied forces surrounded Germany. The Soviet forces were welcomed all across Eastern Europe and Berlin was gradually captured. Hitler and his close associates committed suicide to avoid being captured and tried for their actions. As a result, Germany was divided into eastern part called German Democratic Republic or GDR and the western part called Federal Republic or FRG. While the GDR came under the influence of USSR, FRG was under the influence of USA. While this was the condition in Europe, the bombing on Hiroshima and Nagasaki in Japan in the Far East resulted in Japan surrendering to USA. Japan was occupied by the US armies, but taking the sentiments of the Japanese into consideration, the Japanese emperor was allowed to continue. As a result, a constitutional monarchy was built in Japan just like in England. It was to be ruled by the government responsible to diet, the Parliament of Japan. Many of the Nazi generals and other leaders were captured and put to train in the popular Nuremberg Tribunal which sentenced 11 leading Nazis to death. The others were imprisoned to life. Although the Nazis were punished, it was very little compared to the brutality of the crimes that the Nazis committed. The Allies did not want to be hard on the defeated Germany like the way they were after the World War I. Taking the economic collapse of Germany and Japan after the war, USA introduced a Marshall Plan to revive the economic conditions. The USSR too introduced package for the revival of countries in East Europe. This was how the first half of the 20th century came to an end with the bombing on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. At the same time, hope was created with founding of the United Nations Organization. While World War I marked the end of large monarchic empires, the World War II ended with the end of large colonial empires of Britain, France, Japan, Italy and Germany. By the year 1950, India, Indonesia, Vietnam, Egypt and Nigeria etc. became independent. Britain, which was the most powerful country before the war, became a secondary power. USSR and USA emerged as the two new superpowers of the world. Eventually, USSR built its economy, which was deeply affected by the war with Hitler. At the same time, the victory in this war helped Russia to enhance its prestige and emerge in the world politics. It was then joined by the entire Eastern Europe and China to form a large socialist camp. Students. 
This brings us to the end of this lesson which gave us insights into the history of the world between the wars.